Mm-hmm. What's up? It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm Stephanie Santiago. I'm Baby Tate. Oh, and I'm Pretty Brea. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we like it. It's like a group in here. <laughs> yes. Um, first of all, you know, today's a special day. Um, it is Pretty Brea's birthday. Why are you looking confused? <laughs> no, I'm not confused. I was just looking like, like, like it is. is. <laughs> no, I was like, you ain't know we do. Girl, no, I was waiting on you. I was just looking I'm like, because like, you was looking at her. So I'm like, okay, let me see. <laughs> but no, we love the fact that you're here for your thank birthday. You. And you look Happy really birthday. cute. Yes. Thank you. Y'all both look amazing. Libra? Thank you, Libra. Yes. Period. What's your sign? Feels. I'm a Taurus. We both ruled by Venus. Period. All right, my I'm mom's a Libra. a Libra, my brother's a Libra, my, my best friend a is a Libra. So you yeah. like us? Yeah, I like. Yeah, I, like I like my Fuck family. With the vibe. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so you're in New York. So what are you running around doing for your birthday? Well, um, yesterday I had a celebration with my friends, but mm-hmm. today I just flew here to come be out. Your podcast. So. Oh, nice. Yep. Yep. Okay, we like that. Yes. We appreciate you spending your day with us. Yes, oh, had to. And I think. Um, yeah, are we doing something? Are we doing like some type of birthday celebration in here? You know, we're all, first of all, are let's we taking all, a birthday shot? Let's all cheers to that. Yes. Me and baby Tate. Cheers. Yes. Happy uh, birthday. Thank you. Stephanie's going to vape for She's you. She's going to do a vape shot, oh, period. You. <laughs> yeah, for you. So cheers to that. What do you want for your cheers, birthday? You, you know how people be like, you got to make a wish. Mm-hmm. What's your birthday wish? Um, I wish that. You know, everything just keep going up how it's been going. So, I mean, I'm not really wanting too much. I'm really in grind mode right now. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, Could have been at the club right now, but I'm working. Mm-hmm. So, I feel like, you know. Work, work, work. Got everything in line. I just want to keep Period. elevating for real. I used nice. to wish for more wishes when I used to blow my really? candles out from a young age. <laughs> I'd be like, you. I wish I, I had unlimited wishes. wishes. Really? <laughs> That's so cute. But then but you never that? really made a wish. Right. Then you <laughs> wishing for that. Like, I wish all my wishes come true. Right. But mm-hmm. you do have unlimited wishes. Mm. You're right. See, you I like that. And look, I was telling um, baby Tate when she came in, her mom is Dion Ferris. Do y'all understand? Like, <laughs> le- she's honestly the song Hopeless. Y'all know the song Hopeless. Yes. What was that on the Love Jones, Love Jones. soundtrack? Mm-hmm. That's like her a mom. With a hole in it. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> I was like, that song used to be so sad that something was going on in your life. That was the one you put on? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And you feeling dead. You know, I, you know how many times I cried to that song? Wow. Like, if something happened or something like that, and you'd be like, I'm feeling it. Aww. But actually, any type of song that make you feel an emotion, I think, is good. Yeah. Right, yes. You know? Do y'all have songs like that that, like, you know, you listen to it and every time it, like, touches something mm-hmm. yeah, for it, you? I feel like sometimes I hear a song and you remember where you was at and mm. your point of life when yeah. that song came out. Bring up the memories. So it seems like every time a song came out, I know exactly what I was doing at that, that point. So it's always mm-hmm. take me back. So. Oh, shoot. Here, Here we go. Is. Here's the birthday. Hey. To you, happy like birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> no, we got a new birthday song, y'all. Y'all Wait, know what the new happy birthday, 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 birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. And Yay. many more. Hold on, guys. I hear the vocals. Yeah. Now she's going to make that wish. <laughs> Come on, what's the wish? Um, I'm not going to say that loud. Yeah, let's say yeah, yeah, yeah blow the candles and secret wish. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I don't know how to blow this. Oh man, come on, you got this. Come on, you got it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's over. <laughs> I haven't blew a candle in so long. Oh, that's <laughs> happy nice. birthday. That's so yeah, thank happy you. Birthday. Shout out to the team. You gonna cut it? Mm-hmm. Yes, because yes, I, I want you. some cake. Please, please. Right. <laughs> thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Uh, all right, good. Well, I'm glad we got that going. I'm glad y'all got me on here, period. Yeah. So, yeah. Period. so you're from Detroit. You're from Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. Two places I love. Period. You know, to go to. Where G- you from? Me too. I'm from Brooklyn. Okay, period. But you know, I have a business in Detroit. I have a um a 30-unit building in Detroit in Midtown. Period. Oh, for real? Yeah. You, you, you make it. money in Detroit. Yeah. Exactly. Detroit Detroit what you say. I actually, <laughs> I love the history of Detroit, and yeah. I think Detroit is really having a time with music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, right mm-hmm. now, everybody wants to sign artists from yes. Detroit. Atlanta, y'all already been. Yeah. Yeah, been yeah. turned. Yeah, y'all <laughs> been turned. <laughs> Let other people get a little. <laughs> Let now, other people get But something. even like, because you can tell when somebody raps from Detroit. Yeah. Y'all have a very distinct, like, really cadence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like that about New York, though. 
Like the beats. That's yeah, true. the beats. Everything. The beat I just be like, yep, that's New York. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like certain Very cities got certain. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I think, because um, I think about, we've had uh, a lot of artists from Detroit on this podcast. Remember, we had Skilla and Sada mm -hmm. Baby on here together. Oh, period. Yeah. That was I a love time. Skilla. That was, was a good one. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was a time. Vezo's been mm -hmm. on here. Yeah, that's times. my dog too. Period. Yeah, Cash Doll's our girl. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so we always are definitely supportive of that movement. And you signed to Empire. Yep. And yes. Empire, yes, Gazi has been doing his thing. So yes. that's a great place. And he loves Detroit. I know. He loves him from Detroit. I'm like, yes, period. He <laughs> loves everything about they it. They look at it like um, like Oakland and Detroit are very um, similar. They are. Mm -hmm. I feel like they are because a lot of times I... We ain't got no accent similar to them. They really sound like a little different for sure. Yeah. Like they, you know, everybody got their own swag though. Y'all be having mm. similar accents. It'd be something in the R's. <laughs> I don't got a hard R. <laughs> I don't got a hard R. I don't got a hard R. <laughs> but and baby Tate, I love your um Jersey song. Thank you. And your Hey Mickey song with Sweetie. Thank That's you. That's my journey to a little nostalgic little throwback. Love yeah, it. super mm -hmm. throwback. It's like a throwback upon a throwback. Cause Ooh. it's like a, a sample of of Cindy Lauper, but then it's also, whoa. Sorry, I had like a lot of shots. It's a sample of Tony Basil, but it's also like a seven-year-old song that I just like went viral on tiktok and then we just did a remix <laughs> yeah did you grow up in a very musical household just mm -hmm. yeah okay yeah so like my mom being an artist like she exposed me to a lot of different music growing up and so i, I also went to like performing arts elementary middle and high school so like i was just always exposed to music music has always been like like you know when people be like ball is life like music has always <laughs> been life for me literally music is life for yeah you. music is life what high school did you go to in Atlanta the cap school of arts okay yeah DSA who else went to school with you like you're in your class and during that time that you were there that we would know um during the time that I was there I don't think anybody that you would know I think I'm the most famous so far shout out to me <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the why is because most of the times when people say they went to a performing arts school, mm -hmm. they always say Tri Cities. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Tri Cities was, is the other everybody side. Everybody went to Tri Cities. Yeah, Tri Cities is the other side. I'm from mm -hmm. the East Side, but um, Ooh, like um, mm -hmm. Childish Gambino Are you from the East Side. From the yeah, East Side, Childish so Gambino bad. went to uh, the Cap School of the Arts. Mm -hmm. Um, there are a lot of people that like are on Broadway and stuff that went to DSA. Nice. Ooh, you yeah. think you could do Broadway one day? I would love to do Broadway one day. You know what I like about your music too? It's very melodic. Thank you. You know, cause she sings, she mm -hmm. raps, but you could do different types of genres. Like you have like a Jersey dance song. Right. Right now that's really lit. And so I, I enjoy that. Like Thank you. the experimentation of it. Sometimes, um, like people can be put in a box of being one thing and yeah. <laughs> I hate boxes really bad. Pretty Brea, what was your experience growing up? Like, what got you into music? Um, I feel like real stuff got me into music. So basically, um, my first freestyle I ever did, it was like right after I did some wild stuff to my ex. And I made a freestyle about it and it went like viral on Facebook. So then I just did like a little rap and, you know, my city started messing with it. So I'm like, okay, period. Like, y'all like the way I rap. But you know, I grew up from real life poverty. Like I think people say it because it sound good, but mm -hmm. like the real poverty, like I I can't really explain it. Well, I really can't explain it, but you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm just driven from a different, like a lot of people, they mama take care of them and this and that and third. I take care of my family, like the whole family. Okay. I'm the most successful person in my family. So I feel like it's just a lot of stuff that got me rapping. Like once I realized I got a talent, you just go off you chase your dream you know and that's Especially a lot of pressure too in the whole family it's so on you. much pressure yeah it's a lot of pressure like it is it is because it's like they remind me mm -hmm. i don't got family that just be they be <laughs> like yeah when you like they and i just be like oh my god like yeah. okay can't quit gotta keep going you know so let's talk about your situation so it was like a domestic violence situation or something like that well I was, like, yeah explain. i want you to tell us so i'm not um so and you can be honest because it's in the past. Oh, I'm a real okay. Can, I can't curse on yes, the can. Yes, you can. I'm a real bitch. Yes, you can. I, don't, okay. I don't lie. Well, I, I might lie, depending on who the nigga is. So I know I'm just like, but um, no. So basically, I was in a relationship with a female. It was like my first female. So, um, and she was a a stud. I'm a femme. But anyway. Um, I was with her basically, and you know how you just taking somebody in. Like, I don't know. I was kind of playing like the like the the person the, the provider basically. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing everything in the household. She helping me with little stuff around the house, but I'm basically bringing the money in, taking shopping. Da, da, da. 
Then anyway, I found out uh, she was cheating on me with her ex, and I just you found actual proof of this. They was emailing each other. Okay. Email so, is crazy. Come on, who email does is that? beyond crazy. <laughs> email, not even text. So she had like left for like three, four days or whatever. I don't know what. And she, was and she went missing, like missing, mm-hmm. like, and we lived together for years. But um, so were you during that time? Were you thinking something happened to her? Like I was somebody- just going crazy, and then she started like saying it was a mental health break, and I'm just mm-hmm. like, bitch, you, mm-hmm. nah, <clears throat> come on, nah, it like you know it. what I'm saying? Yeah, but um. Then I ended up finding out what happened or whatever. I ended up finding what happened with the phone. I ended up getting into the phone, figuring out the location. Mm-hmm. And um, she was cheating. And I was just like, I don't know. I kind of just snapped. Okay. And then. Because you also felt like I took you in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like you. You started like, feeling like I You did ain't this. got shit but the audacity at this point. <laughs> okay. Like, like not, 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 not trying to bash nerve. her, though, because I really don't like. I only bring her up because people want to know how I started rapping. Mm-hmm. So right. obviously she's a part of my story. Right. Even Thank though you. she's the bummer. And, and you know, right. but and you know sometimes things, things happen, happen for a reason. reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's like, I made a freestyle and I was in my closet and then it was just like start going viral. And it's like right around the time or right after T blew up, everybody was like, female T Grizzly. Just, you know, saying that everybody going to say that because mm-hmm. he from Detroit too. But um, then another rapper from my city, Cash Kid, he was he's re- he's still turned up, but he called like, you should start rapping for real. You really hard. And I'm just like, whatever. Then I just made a song and they start fucking with it. I'm like, okay, period. Yeah. <laughs> you like if anything came out of this, I am now right. A, a well, yeah, I didn't it. take Dilla it serious Empire, though. Yeah. Like I I just didn't take it serious until recently, like maybe a year ago. About to be two years now, but I started being very consistent and started taking it serious because I just was looking at myself like Okay, I got this degree. I don't want to go to school. I don't want to work for What's nobody. What's your degree in? Public health. Okay. Period. So uh, um, I was just like, I don't I don't want to do this. So I'm like, I got to take it serious for real. So then I started taking it serious and I got like really quick results. So I'm really happy about that. But yeah. Keep you know pushing, what? girl. Yeah, that's yeah. I will say when somebody makes you act out of character and mm-hmm. do things, it's a learning lesson. Because I feel like we've all had a situation where we've been in a relationship <laughs> and we act like, who is this person? <laughs> but you know what's so fucked up? That's really my character. Period. Oh. <laughs> like, I think it. I'm one of the people. <laughs> like, just not, not, not saying like just, you know what I'm saying? I'm just one of those short, like, not, I wouldn't even say short tempered. I would. I'm just one of them people. You <laughs> know, would. like, it's just like, I'm yeah. really better now. You know what I'm saying? I go to therapy and everything. So I feel like I'm, you know, I'm yeah. doing better. But I feel like that is my character a little bit. Yeah. Like, so wait, people, did you end up going to jail for that? I got arrested. You yep. got arrested. But the charges were dropped. Yeah. Or dismissed. Yeah. Thank God. Mm-hmm. Well, it was bad. After the freestyle, did she hit you up? Um, yeah, everybody was hitting me up. And then actually, like the dummy, I was talking back to her. But no, 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 okay. no, 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 <laughs> no. no. We ended up, I ended up letting that go. But because you know, that was my first real relationship with the mm-hmm. female. And, and at that time, I didn't even know you could experience that type of mm-hmm. attraction to your same sex. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So at that time, I was just very much confused in general because I'm like, I'm already battling just having to tell everybody I like girls. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, yeah, yeah I'm straight. You didn't never feel the same. Yeah. No. And then she did some weird stuff and married my, a girl I was cool with. Oh my Mary. Yeah. Can we stop talking about this lady? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's leave her there. Oh my, my blood. God. She, she left. left. No, I'm saying she let's left. leave her right there. No, no, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ooh, but that was time I started her, rapping. Yeah. yeah. She like, and that's how it all started. And I that's love that. And, and that's, she's married to my my ex friend. That's period. how you turn yeah. pain into profit. Yes. Period. So do you you consider yourself bisexual? Yes, I am bisexual. So do you see yourself being in another lesbian relationship or did that completely turn you like, all right, well, I'm going to still fuck these bitches, but I ain't falling in love yeah, with them? Yeah, no. Um, I still like women, but I do not date studs. Okay. So I like femmes, okay. girly girls, or maybe yeah. maybe even stems, depending. But really girly girls. And I believe in like poly relationships. So mm-hmm. I see myself one day with like a man and a woman. Okay. Big Same. house. Same. You would do that too? Period. No, I'm pansexual. So mm-hmm. like, I also like femmes. I like girly girls. But like, I literally have had a dream for the longest. I just see myself in this house, like this beautiful house. Big house. And I have a, a husband and a wife. Sister, wife, husband. Yeah. Bunch oh, wow. of kids running around, being mm-hmm. bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see it. 
people love a bunch of kids running around being bad. <laughs> I didn't see that it's in like, my dream. They wasn't there. They wasn't there yet. <laughs> Not that much. Why, no, why are bad kids so appealing? <laughs> no, but like, yeah. You're so I'm, bad. <laughs> I'm into women still, just not studs. Okay. Yeah, that time you off completely from studs, though. I will say that. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's sad. Okay. And so you said, uh, and I've seen that, that you're pansexual. Yeah. Now, is that something that you have like a conversation with your family about, like your parents? Because you, um, no. you said you had to tell people. And well, let everybody know I like girls, you know. Yeah. Well, actually, kinda my mama kind of caught me, yeah. In the si- mm-hmm. within caught that situation, you. no, like not doing that. Oh. <laughs> she spent the night in my room. My mom was like, "My job was living with my mom at the time." Mm-hmm. She like, "What's she doing here?" Because she gay. Ooh, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she like, why is she in here? I'm like, screaming, girl. You know why she in here? <laughs> okay. Nothing not happened. I wasn't disrespectful, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? But, but my mom is by she. She, mm-hmm. you know, she didn't care at all. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. she nobody had anything to say. My family yeah. loved me so bad. They love everything I do. So that's yeah. good. You yeah. need that support for strong yeah. support yeah. system. Mm-hmm. I never had to like come out. I feel like I came out on Twitter. Like, <laughs> I was just like. Hey guys, just because I, I was bisexual and then like just recently I, I was like, I think I'm actually pansexual. But like when I first came out as bisexual, it was definitely on Twitter. I was like, mm-hmm. hey guys, just wanted to let everyone know. Like, you I'm made bisexual. an announcement. Yeah, because <laughs> I just was like, I don't know. People kept asking me like, do you like girls? Do you like girls? I'm like, yeah. How many times do I have to say that? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? I know them girls who's in your DMs too, like crazy. <laughs> Heavy. I feel like Heavy women be a me. lot more aggressive than men. I don't know from... I feel like my family found out that I'm bisexual because of lip service. Really? Damn. Because <laughs> I don't talk to them about stuff like that. Right here. Here. I don't talk to them about stuff like that. Like I, Because I've never been in a lesbian relationship. Mm-hmm. I've just be fucking on girls. Like Period. I don't... I've, I've, so I, you don't have feelings. I have so. threesomes and mm-hmm. no, I'm not having feelings for a woman. I'm mm-hmm. have feelings for a man and we gonna have sex with this girl or me and this girl gonna have sex and that's gonna be it. Mm-hmm. Hey girl, hey, after. I'm screaming. Like, hey, roll up. Hey, what's up? What we doing? <laughs> <laughs> what we doing? Mm-hmm. So, but I think that um, my family kind of found out um, things that I take part in my extracurricular activities by watching me <laughs> on lip service. And I've never been like, um, <laughs> approached about it, or nobody ever been like, "Why you ain't tell us?" or right. anything like that. But it's just like, well, now you know. So yeah, yeah. And they love it. No, yeah, my grandma literally you. called me on the phone. Was Damn. just like, they was telling me what you said on Love and Hip Hop. I'm like, what did I say? <laughs> oh my god, I've said so many things on that show. And she was like, they said that you said you were bisexual, and I just wanted to tell you. And I'm my heart beating fast because I'm like, what is she about, what to, you say? about to say? Because my mom, my grandma's a Christian, like a very devout Christian. So what did she say? She was like, I just wanted to tell you. I don't care who you love. Just make sure they're treating you properly. Oh, I know that's, that's right. Good. You yeah, love right. yourself. Like, okay. Okay. Yeah. Come on, grandma. You been feeling like the older generation. Yes, I was so yeah. scared. Is not as understanding. I was so my scared. My grandma different. She smoked weed and cuss. <laughs> that's why. <part. Like, laughs> my too. grandma, you know what I'm saying? Like, my family, they all just like. I don't know how my mom would have, <laughs> would have accepted it, though. She passed away. May she rest in peace. I don't I don't think she, she didn't know. Um, she didn't watch the show. We had baby maybe been about three years in when, when she passed away. Um, and she never really watched the show. I don't think nobody told her. But she was so old school that I think she would have been like, what you doing? What you talking about? <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, nonetheless, it is what it is. I feel like we are in a day in in our lives, in this time that we're living in, where none of this, nothing matters. Yeah. Right? right? Like, love who you love. Be who you want to be with. Live your life for you. Do what you want to do. And we do survived COVID, y'all. Yeah. Like the fact that we went through that period of time of some like this major global pandemic mm-hmm. and we're yes. alive mm-hmm. is like it kind of makes you think. And it lasted yeah. years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, like, and I know this was a while ago now, but musically, like, what did that do for for you guys? Because during that time, it is scary for an artist who mm-hmm. part of your job is to be like out, you know promoting and yeah. performing in front of people. But for some people, it was a good time because you were able to really like sit down. Yeah. yeah. I literally got like depressed and I stopped producing for a while um, because I don't know, like I had just signed a partnership with radio, mm-hmm. Issa Rae's label. And like right when I signed with them, it was like real shut down. And it was just like, okay, what now? I was living with, um, like I had a roommate who was my best friend. She's not my best friend anymore. She's an op, just kidding. She's not. Oh, she is. She's a op. She is, but she's not, but she is. But yeah. 
fuck her. <laughs> but I was, were. you know, me and her, and then like also my ex was living with me. So it was just oh a God. lot of energy. <laughs> It was a lot of energy. We also lived in an apartment that had like barely any proper sunlight. So it was just not good energy. Like it was not good vibes going on. And I just was not happy. Like I literally you stopped making trapped. music. I did. Yeah. I felt like I was in a rah rah, like a dungeon dragon. I was in a dungeon. Mm -hmm. It was bad. But like I'm grateful for that time as well because it really like allowed me to sit back and realize like what do I actually want to do in this world? Like what do I really want to leave my mark by doing, you know? So. It was good and it was bad. It was the best of times and the worst of times. Listen, so your ex at the time, you were still together. when you We were, were together. Okay. How was that for you guys during that time? Like, was it... <sighs> no? Okay. Well, Is I that feel like why a that's similar... Yeah. Mm, it was like a similar situation where it's like, I was doing a lot. He was just very like... Bummy. Bummy. Bum. Bummy. Mm -hmm. Sorry if he that. didn't live with me, I he wouldn't be living anywhere. Damn. So, yeah. We call that hobosexual. <laughs> <Was> it, okay, <laughs> so, so I've got to ask you this. Was it good For, enough to be hobosexual? Yes. Was the no. dick. Cause some, I usually, thought bro niggas had good dick, though. That's, that's what, what they, they say. say. It was good at first. Like he needed a place to stay. It was good stay. at first. Yeah, it okay. was good at first, but then it's, I'm, I don't know. I just get bored. So it's like, all right, do something else. Like, <laughs> I know that's right. He was, no, I get what, what you said about that get bored. Though. Yeah, like it yeah. was good. For what the, other skills first, do you have? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Like I sometimes, like, you know what? Sometimes um, people know how to make you come, and they'll do the same thing over and over again. They Once think, I know her body. I like know her body now. now. Like this. you yeah. don't actually. We hit a plateau. You yes. Know what I'm <laughs> yes. Let's reach another climax, please. What about you? Was the sex that good that you were like, I will handle everything? Um. At the time for me, it was. Mm -hmm. And the head was still up there. You know what I'm Period. saying? The head was. <laughs> Period. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it when was you a know. New situation, though, for you in, in the hole. Yeah, right? I think, I ain't gonna lie. The fuck that part of me think it was me having all the control. Like, you was my son for real. Like, yeah. I ran yeah. everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's like you kind of fall in love because they really, you look at them like your son. Like, like you I taking gotta take care, care of them. You, you telling yeah. them how to dress. You cleaning behind them. Like, you feel like that's your kid. So it's like, it be a different kind of love versus having like a, a, a dominant man. You know what I'm saying? It right. was just a little yeah. different. Yeah. I want somebody to treat me like their kid. I feel like I do so <laughs> <What>? much. <laughs> Can somebody? No, you don't, <laughs> Angela. What? Right. Y'all, don't listen to her. Right. Don't listen to me, Angela. Well, I'm fucking screaming. You know, to be like taken care of and like, some, I put want up. somebody to take up after you wanna me. You want to be put up. Yeah. You want to you wanna feel like a princess. <laughs> yeah, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I am in some ways but in other ways like I feel like I'm always cleaning I'm always like mm -hmm. doing everything I plan everything and maybe that's me like always taking charge too right yeah. you know like I have that type of personality where I'm like yeah that's my what family. I'm saying yeah you don't want somebody to treat tell you what to do and yeah. things like that not tell me that. what to do mm -mm. you know but that's what you do with oh kids. you want part you I'm want screaming. the spoiling you yeah, don't want, want the yeah yeah oh, okay that's what yeah. you do you with just want she wants the princess you want the tricking because here's my problem I'm so used to certain <laughs> things that I do for myself that I don't trust anyone like mm -hmm. if I'm planning it, if we're yeah. going somewhere I need to kind of like be in charge because mm -hmm. I know how I want to fly I know the type of place I want to stay in. Yeah. I hate to be that girl but what's your sign? Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay. Period. period. Mm -hmm. My sister Capricorn. I, I it was given Earth. <laughs> it was given Earth. I was going to ask if it was Virgo but yeah. Yeah. Like have you ever had somebody like trick on you and spoil you? These niggas is going to trick on a bad period. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. trick on the bad bit. But honestly, I don't take anybody like, especially right now, I'm completely single. Okay. So I'm not really giving these niggas like my time because I don't like what comes with that. Like a man to buy you something and they feel like they run and shit. It's mm -hmm. like, no, like I don't like that. I'm a that. person. I talk bad. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Stuff like that. Like I make my own money. So it's kind of like Bitches that make their own money talk a little different and yeah. act a little different. Yeah. It's like I we don't really tweet set... about that. I ain't taking no shit. I make my own money. Yeah, yeah. it's like we 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 a little different. You so. make different decisions when you make yeah. your own money yeah. as a woman. But I love me a trick now. <laughs> Nah. So don't get it twisted. I love it. <laughs> I, listen, I love. I mean, I just like princess treatment in, mm -hmm. in general. I feel mm -hmm. like I like a man that don't come with just the bare minimum, and you don't got to really teach them how to treat a bad bitch. I like a man yeah. that know what they doing. You know what I'm saying? So, I yeah. feel the total yeah. opposite. I feel like when a, the more a guy buys me, the more he spends, the more he takes care of me, the more I have control over him. Really? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I don't know because he he he's doing things. By what he buys me, I, I'll do this for you if you buy me a Birkin. 
I'll go here with you if you pay the bills this month, you know? So, mm-hmm. Oh, but I don't do it like that. Court, yeah, I just know? let them do it. I don't really ask. I just kind of wait. That's probably why they do that. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll just wait to see if they do it and then cut them off if they don't do it. <laughs> like, Girl, cold's right. mouth don't get fed. You got to ask exactly. what you want these days. You got to tell them what... Because they'll just sit there. Guys have no style. You got to tell them exactly what to buy you. Mm-hmm. If not, they're not going to buy you shit. Mm-mm-mm. What about... Okay, let me ask you this. So, on Drake's album, right? Mm-hmm. He has one part where, the, you know, and I know he's taking shots, but there's a little <laughs> a skit on there where the girl is in coach, right? He flew her out and she's like, he told me there wasn't no seats left in first class. He got me in coach. But then I walked past first class and I seen all these seats left, mm-hmm. you know, in um in first class. So he lied to me and whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. So if you was with somebody and they put you in coach, right? would that be an issue? Or are you cool mm-hmm. with that? No, it's a problem. I'm walking off the plane. <laughs> okay. If I walk on the plane and I see the empty first class seats mm-hmm. and you lied to me and said that there was no first class seats... First of all, this is telling me so much about your character. You're a liar. Okay. Second, you're cheap. <laughs> third of all, you're a liar. Like, that's She's a like, big liar problem. Was first and third like, liar. you're a problem. <laughs> so, I'm walking off. I don't even want to link up with you no more. Because, like, what's good with you? I'm not even going to the airport. Like, <laughs> she said, send no the jet. No first class seats <laughs> and no <laughs> Stephanie. I'm right. not coming. <laughs> like, yeah, what no. about you, Brave? I don't know. It depends. Like, I just started like flying first class. I'm a hood bitch. You know what I'm saying? So this is all new to me. But like when I was flying first class, like it's kind of like on my part, I don't really get flewed out. Like Mm -hmm. I don't let niggas fly me out. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you fly me out, I'm fucking and I'm not fucking because I got to know you. So I feel like, you know what I'm saying? So I don't get flewed out. So I haven't really experienced that. You know what I'm saying? Like Mm -hmm. I don't. And if a nigga not giving me like that, spoil me princess treatment i really don't talk to him because i just feel like if you're gonna court somebody do it the right way like right. you ain't you're not going to the airport either yeah i do always like to look cause that's the controlling part of me i like to book my own flight yes yeah. and i like i let guys know off rip if you trying to fly me somewhere this is these are my standards and if you can't meet my standards then don't even try because i'm not going period mm-hmm. Mm. I mean, I'm good for upgrading my flight. If I upgrade books myself me in a as well. Seat. But w- no. if a man is like, I want to fly you to I, I, I place. But I'm not fly. Yeah. I'm not upgrading my seat for a guy. No, no. but yeah, for no. you know, for work related purposes, or yeah, if I'm flying like, somewhere, my home yeah, work related, I'm gonna pay for my own upgrade. Yeah, I'll yeah. Fix that. yeah. But let's okay. Let's talk about some other things now. Slut me out. Let's let him out. Okay? Yes. Um, <laughs> now, what does it mean to slut a guy out? And have you done that for real? Um, I feel like to slut a nigga out. It's really just like, I don't know, like show them a, a different freaky aside. Mm-hmm. Um, but honestly, it's really more about like dominating a man. Um, I feel like a lot of times men want to be in control. But I feel like when you control a man, like now you're the slut. Mm-hmm. You're the whore. <laughs> I fucked you. And I love I love that. Have you ever like... For real, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm about to ask. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you know what I'm about to ask. Have Come she on. ever fucked the man? Like, yes. Like, like, oh my on. god. See, that's crazy. Haven't haven't man. Yet. You no. haven't. But has anybody ever asked you? Not yet. No. Is it something you want to do? I would, but you also I haven't been like super sexually active lately. Like I feel like I had sex for the first time in like five months, like a week ago. Oh Period. really? Yeah. How did somebody break that seal? I broke it. <laughs> I reached out to him. I like that. Yeah, he's like, like an OnlyFans creator. See me. He's an OnlyFans creator. You he reached is. out to him on wait. Okay. <laughs> Had you met him in real she life? Already, I gotta hear this. Videos. So like we had met a long time ago in like 2018 with like some friends and stuff, and I had just been following him or whatever like since then. And recently, the man started doing OnlyFans, so I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I started looking at a new video. I did not subscribe, <laughs> but I was still following him on Twitter. So I was like looking at a, you know, a couple of videos. I was like, hmm. <laughs> we so happened to be in like the same city one weekend. I was just like, oh my God, how long you here? Like, <laughs> let's go get a drink or something. Uh, I like, love it. I love it. And we got a drink and some other things. That's So that was on the first like link up. First independent link up. Yeah. Okay. I, listen, so sometimes for me, I find the first time is not usually that great. Girl, but this good. one was okay. Never mm-hmm. mind. Okay, it was I feel like somebody got to learn me, like to know. I what feel it. that. I feel like because he's an OnlyFans creator, like <laughs> he be fucking. You gotta stop saying that. Like, I'm sorry, he's an OF. He's he's an OF boy. He be fucking. So like, 
he, he know what to do. So did you look at it as something that you could ever take seriously or is this? That's so crazy because I was actually thinking about that afterwards because it was so good. I was like, <laughs> I was like, hmm. I love him. <laughs> You know how you say like, that? You don't really mean hmm. it, but you be like, I think I love him. No, nah, I, I didn't say all of that. <laughs> not all of that, but I was like, hmm, could I see myself like dating? Just not even just him, but like any any OnlyFans creator, or, like just a sex worker in general, because like I'm a, a supporter of sex work. Like mm -hmm. I spend hella money on strippers. I also be spending money on OnlyFans sometimes. I don't Period. even be watching this shit. I just spend the money. Just to help. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm like... <laughs> I don't know. After that situation, I was like, I feel like I could. What did he do? Like, tell me how this happened. He was just really kind. Okay. Like, he was very, very kind and, like, patient. And, like, when I went to his hotel, I was thinking, like, oh, my God, am I the whore? Because nope. I was, like, at the hotel, <laughs> and we just sitting there on the couch watching Fresh Prince. I'm like, did I read this wrong? Like, <laughs> oh, my gosh, I'm just sexualizing him. This is so wrong of me. I need to leave. Like, I need to go back to my hotel. I'm so sorry. I need to go read the Bible. Like... But yeah, he you know just how was hype being he chill. was though. You know he was hype. <laughs> you know he was, girl. You know he was hype. Probably he yeah. was. Yeah. yeah. He Are you gonna do it again? I would. Okay. I would. Good for you. That's Hit good. me up. At least you had a good time. Yes. I had a great time. Okay. And I so, recommend to a friend. How does this play into um sex exploration? So sex exploration, um, you know, I'm just exploring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm exploring sexually and I feel like um, with, you know, me being pansexual and this kind of being like a recent discovery of mine, I've just been like exploring in all different types of ways. I actually just recently like, wow, I'm just telling all of my business. Girl, welcome to lip service. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, having a I'm telling mm -hmm. all of my business. I just recently got strapped for the first time. So it's just like exploring sexuality and i feel like that's kind of the the vibe that i'm on just okay. for for life and i think everybody should okay just sex explore. explore sexually yeah sex explore. exploration all right well uh how are you gonna tap this pretty brea no i'm playing oh, <laughs> <laughs> so what, what do you want me to answer no. all right so you're single right now yes is there anybody that you could call like that you have on you know just in case you feel like getting something off Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> yes. Period. <laughs> yes. Yes. I feel like most single women do. Most right. single women has that ex or that mm -hmm. um, situationship, mm -hmm. you know, that break in case of emergency that you can always count on when you just really feel like you need mm -hmm. to get fucked. Yes. I'm screaming. We keep one of them. What about threesomes? Do you do threesomes? Yeah, so I rap a lot about uh, mm -hmm. threesomes and stuff like that, but I'm definitely pro threesomes. Like, you know... I want a poly relationship with the woman and the man, but I I love threesomes, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, I think I'm more turned on by just watching, though. Like, I'm just a weird... Like, I I, I figured that out when I, I was sneaking through my ex's phone one night, and then I seen a girl that he told me was just his friend, like, giving him head, and I, like, got wet. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I should be Because I was really right. mad. Like, I no, I was mad. mad, though. But, but I was just was like, mad, what? Yeah, and then the I just time. kept watching it, so then I just started going through with it, and then I liked it, but it was like, <laughs> I acted mad when he got up, but I really liked it, and I just didn't know how to explain it to him, mm -hmm. and I just told him. He and tried to play crazy, like, no, that was, that was, oh, you all I need, da da da. And I just kept pressuring the issue, like, I really want to have this, I really want to have this, I really want to have this, and then we just did it. Okay. Love it. Oh, listen, listen, I'm not going to say because you know her, but I have a friend who her boyfriend cheated on her, and then she went and fucked the girl he cheated with. Oh, oh, oh wow. Yeah. yeah. That's spicy. Period. Yeah. And she, she never told him. You know what I'm saying? But she was like, I, she liked girls too. And he don't even know. She didn't even have she a threesome with him. him. So did know. the girl know that she knew that she fucked yeah. him? Yeah. I don't That's like how they ended up get back. Yeah, I would have told. Her. I don't like silent get back. What's the point? I feel like yeah, you gotta, I need you to know. <laughs> yes, you have right. to know. Like I don't like Ew, silent burn. get back. Yeah, yes. chest hurt. Period. I'm like that pussy was good, huh? Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> know. First hand. How many sex tapes do you have in your phone of yourself? Oof, <laughs> a lot. Um, I probably got like nine. Okay. That's not that bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Do you look at them? Like, yeah, do you, you I'm watch fired. them? Yeah, okay. I'm screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lit. I'm actually fired, period. But I don't get turned on when I see myself on camera. Oh, like, I, I do. I don't. I get turned on, I get turned on when I see too. the flash. No, I like, I get turned on when I watch like somebody <laughs> I'm with. You know, I if I focus on them, not me. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Let me get to it. Yeah, <laughs> Baby Tay, what about you? You got a lot of videos in your phone too? Zero. Zero. Okay. Yeah, no. I just don't trust. I'm like really big on trust. Mm -hmm. And actually, maybe I'm really small on trust. Like, I don't trust people. I don't trust you my You don't phone. trust the cloud. Yeah, I don't trust the cloud. I don't trust nothing. So, like, I don't even do that. I remember being like 16 years old, literally telling people like, mm -mm, I can't send you no news because one day I'm going to be an artist. And Period. people was like, yeah, whatever. And whatever. Man, man, look at you. Yeah. Period. But like, I always that had that vision for myself. So like, I don't want nobody to see me like that. Mm -hmm. So like, there was a time in, in a previous relationship where like, we made a couple of videos, but them shits got deleted. Mm -hmm. Like That's good. You, that's why the, that's the rule. It's got to be in your phone. Mm -hmm. And you gotta have control over yeah. it. So my favorite but anybody porn can is get me my sucking dick. That's my favorite porn. Mine too. It makes That's me hot. come so fast. I have a couple in my phone. <laughs> I actually refer to this one folder as the vault. That's hot. Because I got a few, <laughs> you know, jewels. I got a few priceless moments in she there. She does know how to make a good tape. And I'm holding on to them. <laughs> because for reasons that we can't talk about on, on camera, uh -oh. period. The guys because it's two different guys. It's, it's a couple of different sets. So there's two guys who a I'm holding sets, on. Period. I, I have a couple of videos with this guy and a couple of videos with that guy. And I'm holding on to them for them because for reasons unspecified, they can't period. have the videos. Oh, okay. uh, mm -hmm. for reasons unspecified. Okay, I like it. So here we are. Mm -hmm. I have them. But yeah, every once in a while when I get, you know, when I'm in that mood and I'll be like, Fuck Pornhub. Let me go into the vault. Right. And then I'll be like, ooh, yeah, I did that. <laughs> I'm that was good. I ate that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and every once in a while, one of them might hit me like, hey, yo, can I get that video real quick? And I'll be like, all right, I got you. <laughs> Here's a screenshot. Here's a still screenshot. I got That's you. About all you man, get nah, I got you. They could watch it, but they can't keep it. Gigi knows how to make a good solo tape, so I know her... her Together tapes gotta be good too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I know that I know that there's a, a few exes that have um some videos of me and then there might be a few like um random situationships who mm -hmm. have a few videos of me. I remember I, I caught this guy filming me and I didn't know he was filming me. He was like filming me. Oh, that's a violation. Yeah. Of trust. That's yes. a whole yeah, violation. I him filming me from the back. Like uh -uh. Yeah. Um that was a bad situation. But I, that's the only person I caught, so who knows? Who yeah, else how many might people have, have done catch, something right? like that? But my point is that I feel like one day that some shit is going to come out and I'm going to be like... <sighs> oh my God, this is the most cringe shit I've ever been through and I've never said it on this show. I was with somebody and I'm not going to say who it was, but this person had... I had no idea over the years he recorded me like 35 times walking away from the bed naked. Wow. <gasps> how did you find out? He wow. started sending me them the other day when we was having an argument. Oh no. In an argument, that's yeah. crazy. With in date argument stamps, events. with yeah. date stamps. Date, no. date, this date. was this day, this was that day. Oh, that's, that's, that's like hard. Like headed to the bathroom. Yeah, me walking to the bathroom. So what was his point in doing my that? Cheeks. <laughs> and so crazy. <laughs> what? What is his point? His point um, was because I'm always like, you were never my man. Mm -hmm. We were never together. together. He's like, bitch, I got proof. We was together right <laughs> we here. Was together. We was together right <laughs> here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh this was a Sunday. Mm -hmm. This was first thing in the morning. No, because that's exactly why he sent me the videos. Because I was like, what? We was never even together. Like, we probably had sex like five times. I could count I'm one man how many times we had sex. And he said, bitch, he said, I got proof. And he's like, funny what enough. the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> that's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> he said, <laughs> funny that, that you horrible? say that. I feel like um, this is a going off subject. I just feel like after my I lost my mom, I don't love people. I don't love men the same way because yeah. I just feel like it's not as important as your family. You know, like mm -hmm. the people who you've loved your whole life, the people who you take care of and who have taken care of you. Yeah. Like, and I feel like when I really fall in love with somebody, I'm gonna have that feeling the way I feel for. You know, because it was so hard losing my mom and it never been that hard to lose a man. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah, right. Like I, I sent a man know. to hell, no problem. Yeah. So I don't really feel like I've ever been in love with a man. I feel that. You know, after, after that. After having that experience. I yeah. honestly feel that. I feel like I've cared about the men that I've been with and maybe been a little obsessed, mm -hmm. you know, but that's not Even love Even some lust, either. Yeah. but that's yeah, not love. Lust. Yeah. So with, it's kind of hard for the men that I've been in a relationship to hear that. Yeah. You know, like. I don't and really you know what, you, Pretty Brea, you said something about that on your social media that you could just turn it off like that. See what's that no, being no, missed? No. Oh. I feel like I'm I, I look. I love how I can go from delusional to completely uninterested. Oh yeah, like these days, honestly, I I I feel bad. Like I be playing mind games. Like I just be acting, or maybe I do be delusional for that. 
I don't really know what it is, but mm-hmm. it's like once I'm off you, it just be like, that's it. Like, I don't know. I could just do that now. I, I wasn't able to do that at first. You think that you'll end up with somebody that is from like the hometown or? Hope not. <laughs> I love the Detroit niggas though. They just all want to be bros. Let me tell you though. something about Detroit niggas. I don't like that. Detroit I love niggas Detroit niggas. Is at the top of my list. They are so generous. They know how to take care of a woman. Some. They know how to make sure they go straight. The ones that I've Some. come across. Right. The ones that I've come across. I, I know a nigga. I met a nigga from Detroit and he going to be so happy I finally tell this story. Lord I'm Jesus. Screaming. I'm going to tell him I told this story. <laughs> So I met a nigga in, um, I'm sorry, I don't like using that word that much. I met a man. (laughs) I met a man in Atlanta years ago and he was from Detroit. And I met him in a restaurant and he's like, I'm like, where you from? And he's like, Detroit. And I'm like, well, I live here. So how is that going to work? And he's like, planes fly every day. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm yeah, that's some Detroit. Is, is, right? Yeah. I said, okay, I'm going to hold you to that. So like a week or so or two weeks later, we um, talking on the phone and he's like, um, I'm in Cali. So I'm like, oh, wow, I've never been to Cali. And he's like, say word. He like, you want to come? And I'm like, sure, I'd love to come. So he like, um, you can come today? And I'm like, yeah, I can come today. So he's like, all right. Oh, he's life. like, send me your info. And he literally booked me a first class flight and flew me to Cali. And when I got there, it was a big ass suite at the La Meridian. And I stayed for like two days and we had a great time. And, you know, it was some real nigga shit. It was a real nigga experience. So I, I appreciate that. And he was from Detroit. No, but yeah, I like the Detroit niggas. I just don't like how everybody claim to be bros. Like, they don't, these niggas don't know each other. Like, I don't know what this <laughs> is. Like, now, like, these not the people you grew up with and right. got out the mud right. with and everybody is brothers bro, and, bro. And, yeah. and gang and all this shit. Like, yeah. it's like, bro, you don't know that man. So it's like, the city too small for me. And then it's like, when you dating a lit person from Detroit, you got to tell somebody. Right. I don't like that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's the only thing. Like, shut up. You ain't got to tell nobody about me like i don't care how lit a nigga is i do not tell right well that's the first thing they're gonna do mm-hmm. yeah right and i they don't tell. even know if that's a detroit thing in that's general that's everybody yeah, yeah. yeah. when you lit yeah. the first thing somebody gonna do is be like you know who i'm fucking with right yeah <laughs> this is why i feel like the guy who i caught was filming me i feel like that's why he filmed me because i was popping and mm-hmm. he was just the regular just a fan you yeah gotta, you and gotta i feel like he filmed me to have proof he was that ecstatic. he static so he, he was go, back there so like, he can run and show his friends. Like, like look who, look who I had. Yeah, did you see my post? I posted the other day, and I was like, these niggas talk too much. Yep, I saw that. That's it. Oh, so they you talk were talking about a guy us. in particular? Yes, okay. for real, for real. I hope it's just yeah. See this? He, mm-hmm. I literally let a nigga take me out. And like literally the next day, everybody was like, oh, you went out with it. And I'm just like, how you like, know? damn, this like, oh, you ain't even like, <laughs> right. like, damn, like, was it that deep? What happens after that? Can he take you out again? Or no, you, it's over. No, it's he's over corny. You got I one knew the red to- flag was when he started bringing up other. I should have just knew the red flag, but I guess it just gave me like, yo, gay homeboy vibes or something. What's the red flag? He was like. Oh, I used to talk to such such, but she's ugly as fuck without makeup. She's the ugliest bitch I ever seen oh, without makeup. Oh, no, yeah, you and don't do that. Honestly, I wasn't even thinking, like, because in my head, you just, you, we cool. You just really, I'm bored right now. But it's just like, <laughs> I hungry. didn't even think of it like, <laughs> this nigga about to do the same thing to you. I'm he screaming. Go tell everybody. <laughs> I ain't thinking that. <laughs> nope. Nope. Everybody knew the next day. Yep. Mm, that's crazy. All right, y'all. I got to slide out. I got to make my flight. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Nice to meet you, girl. girl. It was so nice. Me so and y'all. She's going back to Atlanta. I'm going back to Atlanta so right period. now. Period. Gigi not playing that no midnight fun times. I appreciate Georgia. y'all. Happy birthday. Thank you. It was girl. so nice to finally nice meet you. you. And no, yeah, I'm out. You know, like I don't need you for anything. I do everything myself. Yeah. yeah. Like I like to feel like I can be in a space where I can say, I do need you for this. Like mm-hmm. I do need somebody when I'm out here in the <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> when I'm Cute. out here in the world and it's like a tough place, it is. Like, honestly, yeah. this business will make us very, very hard. I know? think that's mm-hmm. what it is for me, though. Like, I feel like I have my person, but mm-hmm. that part of them that's just kind of controlling, I don't like, like, I'm not really just like a hard up bitch with every guy. Like, come on now. Like, I'm a female. Like, right. I don't want to be a fucking bully. Like, if I can bully a guy, I don't want you because yeah. you're weak. I can't do that. <laughs> but it's like, I don't like a guy that's, who you at? Where you at? Who you oh, no, around? Never that. Like that, that type of vibe is like, that's what I be straight on. It's like when you're the person that's in this type of entertainment and doing our line of work, 
it comes with a lot of like shit and a nigga's got to really be secure to have you in this yeah. line of work and i don't i don't know i just gotta have somebody that's okay with my job okay with me posting what i want to post if i make a tweet that don't apply to you nigga obviously i'm just putting out content let me do right. it like oh don't sit God. here and just like it's content calm down <laughs> well you want I'm me to working. say i'm in love all day it's bitches out here that they chest hurt right now we need to resonate with them i have to be there for the we girls have- Hello? Uh, No, literally, I dated someone who, like, (laughs) they just, you know, they weren't in the industry. And after that relationship, I was like, I kind of have to date someone that's either in the industry or in some type of industry where they understand, like, what's going on. I dated a guy who I would take a picture with somebody and he'd be mad as hell. Literally. And I'm like, we're in front of a step and repeat. I'm at an event that I'm (laughs) hosting. Not the carpet. (laughs) No, seriously. And he would text me and be like, oh, so you take a picture. I'm like... Dude, like, it's a Chill. event. I'm clearly, like... My ex like that, he'd be like, bitch, you embarrassing. Then he'd make a post, these hoes. <laughs> it's like, these it's you. Out here. You're it's the industry. embarrassing one. No, but honestly, he a good dude. I, and he was in the music industry. That's, That's what's good. weird. Oh, I think the well. difference is, like, <laughs> you're a pretty big artist right now. I'm yeah. on the come up. So he met me when I was down here. I no like following it, at any design. time, though. Literally at any time. Because I've I've been making music for, like... I've been making music since I was 13, but like putting music out for like seven years now. So like along my whole journey, I've been with people that like get jealous mm-hmm. and just be like, oh, you fucking this part. I'm like, this is literally security guard for some other artist. This is not, I don't mm-hmm. even know this man. What are you talking about? Exactly. Right. Like I'm on Twitter, just like flirting with somebody online. Like this is for publicity. Just like calm down. Mm-hmm. I don't no, even I like them. I never did all that. Now. Okay, now. <laughs> you talking about it. You might got a backup. I, this is just for <laughs> Content. Let me Whoa. see that thing for content. Let me see that thing for content. Like, oh my God, calm down. <laughs> Chill. No, I ain't Chill. never did all that, though. Chill. But that's what I'm saying, though. That's what I'm Gigi saying. Gigi left, but she would always say that, like, for her, and we were, I was looking at this um, Instagram post where talking about people's past, right? Does what somebody did in the past matter? And so I don't know if you guys saw this, but it was a woman. She was calling off the engagement because mm-hmm. she found out that her man was like messing with other dudes when he was in college. Okay. And he was like, that was when Wait, I was in college. Wait, her man was messing with dudes? Yes. This was on Instagram, not Gigi. This was like oh. a post, yeah. Okay. But um, but anyway, I was um, wondering, do guys ever get intimidated you know, being fluid, like being able to know that like I could be with a man, I could be with a woman. Mm-hmm. Does it intimidate them because they feel like they can't compete with that? Because um, she was saying, I, she was saying, Gigi was saying she feels like she can't yeah, compete. Yeah, she always says she can't with a guy with who likes men also. Yeah. yeah, I don't date guys who like men. Yeah, see, I it, now I feel like that. that's unfair because you, I can't. <laughs> no, like it's just like I don't know. It's just something about it. It doesn't really like I'm not attracted to that. You know, not knocking those who do like that, mm-hmm. but. Yeah. yeah, I feel like I'm open. I mean, because I'm pansexual, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm open to dating like kind of all types of people. So like, I really don't care. That doesn't concern me. Whatever you've done in your past, even what you're doing today, I don't care. You could have fucked the man yesterday. Mm-hmm. That has literally nothing to do with me because I'm in a place in my life where like, I don't even want a relationship right now. I'm trying to figure out myself. Like, I right. want to figure out what makes me happy. Like, um, you know, it's so many other things that like concern me rather than like being in a relationship. So like, mm-hmm. I don't really care what you're doing because I don't want you to care about what I'm doing. Like, right. mind your business. I'm a mind mine. But when we come together, like that's our time together. So like, I don't I don't care what who anyone is attracted to, what you've done in the past, what you're going to do in the future. That has nothing to do with me. Do you want to know what somebody's doing? Like if he's like, I got to, you know, like, hey, what you doing later? Oh, I actually have a date with somebody. Sure, or would you rather yeah. not know? You could tell me. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like I would tell them. Like, if somebody asked me what you doing right, I've literally told people I was on a date when they text me. I'm like, oh, I'm on a date right now. You too open. I'm like, I I'm am. Outside. I'm very I'm honest. Oh, I'm yeah. very, very on. honest. Hey, yeah, I'll hit you later. But I'm I feel her on that second part, I'm though. honest as hell. I was sleeping. <laughs> I'm on a date right now. And then the man got mad. I'm like, you want me to lie? Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I feel did. you on the second half of what you said though I'm the same way with men like I'm mm-hmm. okay with them dating as many women as they want I don't mm-hmm. care what they doing as long as our time is our time you like an honest person what if it's somebody you know yeah I don't like that yeah I don't like that but you know what's so crazy if it's somebody I know and they would like added me into the dynamic or try to figure this out or we all if we all try to figure it out then that'd be different but if I find out 
everybody know me in my city. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, the guys I've been talking to is my city. So I feel like if you're talking to one of my friends or something like that, it's just kind of disrespectful to me. Because yeah, right. I'm too cool of a bitch. Yeah. But you could have tried to put it on the floor and got rejected at the very least. But don't just try to be sneaky with it. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't like that. Right. Just be open and honest. Yeah. I, I, I be feeling like guys don't want to know. Like, I know guys who have been in situations where I know shit about them and they'll be like, you know, don't tell my girl that like I've I've had guys who are friends of mine and they've dated other women who I know and they'll be like, don't tell her that I know about what else she's doing because I don't want her to even know that I know. Mm. They don't even want to like have to deal with that. I think Egos they want to know. Fragile. They need to. But they don't want her to know. Like, I feel like guys be making excuses for women. Yeah, be like, egos be fragile. They be thinking they know everything. Yes. Like, I feel like we will be suspicious and like, I don't go through phones no yeah. more because like right now, I, <laughs> I used to. I was a very toxic yeah. person. And when I tell you I did the most, mm -hmm. like cracking the phones, cracking the internet, like I was very what? toxic. I was doing way too much. Hacker. No, no. <laughs> I've never lies. hacked before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do anything illegal. So what, no. made you, what made you stop doing that? Honestly, I just realized like, it's so much other things you could be giving a fuck about yeah. besides of what a man is doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then honestly, when I started with my ex and we started like being open, it was just cool. He would literally be like, it's kind of weird because my friend, she heard him say this one time. And she was just like taken back. He was like, yeah, I'm going to go uh, fuck the white bitch today. You cool with that? And my friend was like looking at me and I was like, yeah, sure. And it was like, we was that open with each other. Like. I yeah. liked it that though. He yeah. wasn't sneaking. I wasn't finding out. Like a bitch yeah. can't flex on me and send me screenshots. Like, oh, yo, nigga, am I? I it's know like, that, I, babe. I know. And could you say that to him? Like, I'm about to go fuck this dude. Well, I w no, no, <laughs> not See, the nigga. That's what I don't. But like. with the female, See, but yeah. I honestly don't know. Man, won't no, no, no female that's just busting it open for everybody. But if they take you serious, if you busting it open, you busting them legs open and popping that but dick you and gotta everything. Have an understanding, why can't I bust this like, pussy open? If you come in with an understanding, like okay, we both doing us, then that's yeah. just y'all agreement. Yeah, right, but right, if right. you coming in and I say, well, I like girls, I can fuck whatever girl I want, and you can fuck whatever girl you want. Yeah, he don't like men. I don't like having sex with other men so let's not yeah. do men yeah that's y'all that's <laughs> y'all agreement he fuck yeah, with yeah. me and I'm gonna be mad that's y'all agreement you get but what I'm saying I, I don't so like, like one sided stuff like if you can step out of the relationship I yeah. can step out too period no he was real understanding but yeah I fuck with that I feel like he would've just been like if he found out I was fucking with a guy he just would've left me alone he was never pressed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he a good dude yeah. have you ever had an orgy I, would I love haven't, that but that's like one of my biggest fantasies. I want to have an orgy. I've done like a threesome, but I've never done an orgy. Mm. Okay. I feel like that can definitely happen now that we put it out there. For sure. <laughs> what about going to a sex club? Never. I don't know about that. No. <laughs> nope. My mom don't has. Know about she that told one. me about one before. She did? What did she say? <laughs> she said she walked in and she said everybody was fucking. And then <laughs> yeah. somebody came in and like... They treated them a certain way, give them their little toys, lube, whatever they need. And then she said somebody just started eating her pussy, a girl. Period. And, and I was just like, like okay, that sounds fun. Yeah. I think if I wasn't who I am, then maybe. Right. But not, but yeah. You can't maybe take like walking that. into a sex club is crazy. Well, put your put on a, um, a, a mask, mask, girl. <laughs> Some shades. What about we, toys? So do y'all use toys? Girl, I got, I got tattoos recognizable. Like, I don't, I don't know. Do you use toys? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. 100% thousand shout out to the rose the rose <laughs> I don't really like the rose I'm, I really like the bullet I think the rose really? is overrated okay I, I got the double the double I one. know what you're talking about mm -hmm. <laughs> I know what you're talking about what about have you ever used a rose or a to any type of toy while you were having sex absolutely yes absolutely mm -hmm. good lord that's how you squirt mm -hmm. with, with penetration oh so you can squirt okay yes. mm -hmm. and good you can lord. squirt too good lord hallelujah <laughs> amen well, Ooh. do you remember the first time you squirted? Yeah, I've only squirted a few times, and it's only for one person. Mm -hmm. The ex, I keep bringing up. He oh, might feel so special. No, we're not getting mad <laughs> together. But, um, yeah, so we was in the bathroom floor. We was in the bathroom floor. We had guests in the living room. We were sneaking. That's oh the best God. place to do it, yeah. I guess. It was kind of cold on the bathroom floor. You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> 
<laughs> but you know, it, it worked. It was exciting. And you Surely. know what's so crazy? I used to think squirting was a myth. I was actually on somebody's uh, podcast and they said like it's squirting pee. And it kind of turned me off for a second. But I'm like, shit, whatever it is, it's mm-hmm. getting done. Like, <laughs> so, and you so, squirt, so you can squirt too. Yeah. Not just a handful of times. I really just want to know yeah, if you can no. too. I just really I've have never to squirted. Really? I've always, yeah, I haven't, unfortunately. Uh, but I can orgasm, I could come, but I've never squirted. It's okay. Thank you. It will happen. It good. will happen. You I feel so? it in your near future. I don't know if everyone can do it. I think so. I think it's, it's possible the right for everyone, yeah. Can you squirt from masturbating? Yeah. Well, I've never done that before. Mm-hmm. You say yeah? Mm-hmm. You're very in tune with yourself. Well, if you have like a video, you can send it to me and I can learn how to do it. Mm-hmm. I'm just playing. I don't, I don't <laughs> have one. She's like, maybe I'll make one. <laughs> Unless you want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll make one, but no, yeah. I don't have any. No. I, I tried, literally, I watched Pornhub. Actually, the other day. <laughs> I tried, I watched and I just try to follow the steps and they had a directions or something yes but I'm yeah. like damn these fucking nails like I just can't do <laughs> the it nails I don't, so I, do you want to be cute or do you want to squirt right. yeah I'm that's why I have press ones yeah I want to be cute <laughs> but I, I, I just I don't like penetrating myself so I think that's the problem yeah. because but certain I, vibrators will make you squirt mm-hmm. which ones you gotta have the, the G rocket. spot yeah the ones that hit the yeah. can I put that you, in my you don't even hitting. have to go inside just from clitoral mm. oh yeah. I need that for real yeah, hold on pocket rocket I'm putting this in my notes I'm sorry but it's extremely powerful I'm putting this in my notes I'm screaming at this. no y'all, y'all don't understand it's been like my destiny for me to learn how to do it on command yeah. oh man then it won't feel so special but I, I just want to like when I do you fuck think? a guy like every single time I don't care if I fuck you on the first date the last date whatever it gotta be a memorable experience yeah. <laughs> like I'm showing out cause That's... I ain't wasting my body count now we gon you gon you, you gonna tell it. you gonna tell you right. gonna be like oh that bitch I feel <laughs> so embarrassed I have every time sure. it happens I be like why oh, sorry oh, you're not really embarrassed you I'm love like, it I'm like sorry Same. I'm like oh my god percentage wise <laughs> how often like can you squirt during sex if it um, well, I guess just based off of the last time that I had sex. Um, Only fans. Yeah, shout out to him. He don't count. He he knew some tricks. He did. <laughs> He's an expert. He did. I mean, I, wow. You think it's like 10% or like- 10%. More than that. Like 90%. Like what? Was, yeah, I've squirted like seven times. You're a but unicorn. Anyway. Um, oh, look, they have toys the- for you. <gasps> Oh my, oh my god, god Dan, come out of here, Dan. <laughs> oh my god, because I was just saying I want a strap because my well, friend was saying go. my friend was telling me. It's not me, your birthday, but here you go. What the fuck? Baby so tank. my friend was telling me, he was like, I Pretty feel like you're hit such hit a top. And I was like, you know, I don't know. I feel like the the last woman that I, I had sex with, she was like a stud. And I was just like, I don't know if I'm feeling this. And I was like, maybe it's because I'm the top. Really? I don't think I want to be strapped. I think I want to strap. Okay. Well, here you go. I <laughs> think strap And here you go. Thank you like, so much. Let me slow This is a whole oh, situation. Bo- All right. Wait, these, well, let me see. Wait, these vibrators? No. Uh, what you used to do? Wait, hold on now. She got oh, two the different hey, sizes. Hey, now. Hey, hey. No. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, my type of gifts. I like freaky shit. Thank you nah. so much. I can't yes. wait till they stop y'all. At, um, I can't wait to show everybody. Yes, 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 my yes, yes. This will be They're in my check like, bag. Okay. Y'all seen that video that one I girl? Did. The, the funny one when she was going to TSA. She said, Ooh. That but, guy was like, Put it right back. <laughs> well, pretty Bria, happy birthday. Thank yeah, you. We're so happy that you spent it with us. Yes. yes. And it's you a know. time over here. It's a vibe. And baby mm-hmm. Tate, of course, it is such an honor to have you. Thank you. October 27th, Sex Explorations. Baby Tate presents. Yes, Baby Tate presents Sex Exploration, the musical. The musical. Oh, we cannot period. wait to hear that. Thank you. Okay. We Thanks had a time. Me. Thank y'all so much for coming through. We really had fun with y'all and enjoy your strap ons. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much. Thank you. I will. It's lip service. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.